Hi there, my name is Patrick. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you in Nuke Studio. This is for the CGT346, and I'm going to show you how to do planar tracking using corner pin. So as you can see here, uh, what we're going to be doing is placing the Purdue logo over top of this light fixture in, in the footage that we have. You can use whatever footage you'd like and whatever image you'd like to corner pin, but whatever you end up using, go ahead and import that in, drag that down to the timeline, and cut it to be the duration that you'd like. Once you've done that, you then want to create a comp for it. After you've created a comp, we can go ahead and double click and get started. So here we have our node editor view. And then here you can navigate by holding down the middle mouse button to move around. You can zoom in. Then you can kind of see all the nodes that we're going to be creating in, uh, that encompass this image up here. Um, so as we scrub through, we can see the image is pinned to the corners of the lights. But let's, uh, let's get rid of this stuff. Um, and detach it from from our nodes so we can start from scratch here. Move those out of the way and then we'll start from scratch. So the first thing we're going to do is load in our image. So we're going to press tab, type in read to bring in a read node and then find our image. So once we found that then we can drag that around over here and if we connect that to our merge node we'll see that it kind of freaks out on us here. So what we can do is then press tab again and use a transform node to kind of put it back in its place. So now that we have our transform node, uh, we want it to fit in these little lights. Uh, I already know the values that we're going to need uh, for the transform node. So if we look over here on the, the, the panel on the right side, we can adjust some of these values. Um, so as I enter in some of these numbers, it's going to rescale it, um, skew it, now this will be something that you can do later on uh, as a step, but since I already know the values, I'm going to go ahead and put those in now. So what we're going to do now is add in a grade node. So we're going to press tab and type in grade, and we can see our nodes brought in. Um, so what this does is it kind of makes a little bit of luminance, adds a little bit of transparency to our image. Um, and as I adjust some of these values um, and connect this up with our transform node, um, it won't look super good now, but if you want to, you can adjust these however you'd like to make it look how you like. So right now I'm going to adjust them a bit, and then after the fact, once we make some more changes in a bit, it'll look a lot better. So now that we've got our image set up, the next thing we're going to do is add in the main part of what this tutorial is about, which is tracking, uh, specifically a planar tracker. So if we go ahead and uh, hit tab, we can type in planar tracker, and that'll bring up a new node for which we're going to work in next. So let's just move this over here and what I'm going to do is connect the background to our frame range. At this point it's very important to make sure that your time ticker is at the beginning of your footage. So double check now that it's uh, where it's supposed to be at the beginning, um, however long yours is or where it starts because otherwise you'll run into some issues later on. Now we're going to go ahead and draw our plane in. So what we want to do is make sure that the roto is selected and then we're going to come over to here make sure that's selected and then we can zoom in on our light picture that we want to select and just click on each of the, uh, the four corners that we want our image to be pinned into. So once we've connected those, those four in a square we can zoom in again and then uh, select our pointer um, and then adjust them to make sure they're where we would like them to be. So now that we've got our square made, uh, we're going to select all four of the points by uh, just clicking and dragging um, as we have our selection tool um, highlighted. Uh, and then we're going to come over to this button here, drop it down, and select the corner pin absolute. What this is going to do is create going to create this node and connect it up. Um, you know, it's aligning the points for our tracking, which we'll do here in a second. So what we need to do, um, we're just going to break break this stuff and connect it up uh, with our corner pin, so our image is coming down into the corner pin and then we have our planar track roto, um, should have that green line between them. We can then uh, use another merge node to connect our planar track with our corner pin and now uh, these need to be swapped so the, uh, the background needs to be connected to the roto there. 
now we're going to do our tracking. So once again, it's important to make sure that your timeline is at the beginning, and we want to make sure that the roto is selected. Uh, all our points should be selected, and we're going to press this button here uh, in the middle that says Track to End. Now this is going to go through frame by frame and track those four points on it. Um, so uh, this may take a few minutes. Um, so whenever yours is finished, come back, and uh, we will continue. From so now that our track is complete, we're going to go in and we can connect this to our merge node. Uh, so connect our two merge nodes together and we should see our, our corner pinned image uh, placed in that light fixture. Uh, in this case it's uh, upside down as you can see. So what we're going to simply do is just add in a, a mirror node uh, which will uh, uh, connect to our image here and then we'll be able to flip it uh, the right direction. So we can click on the mirror node, go over to the panel up here and flip and flop so it is aligned the right way. Also at this time you could make any adjustments to your transform so that it would look good as I did mine earlier. Now would be the time to make adjustments to that so it fits in there perfectly. Scrubbing through you can see our image is attached as we'd like but let's make it look a little bit more like a light fixture by adding a glow node. So if we hit tab and type in glow uh, we can then add that in to our node graph. We can just connect that there in the merge and then you can already see the effect that it has, but let's go in and adjust some of these settings. There's a color picker option here if we select that, and then we can adjust our glow to be whatever color we want. Uh, you can change the luminance, all these different settings. So you can change that to be whatever you'd like at this time. And with that, we're pretty much finished. Uh, we've connected everything up. We've got our glow settings working as we like, and then you'll see as we scrub through the timeline here, it's working as intended. Uh, it's staying pinned to the corner. We have our glow effect working really well, and it's got this kind of light fixture-ish look to it. Um, so you could do the exact same thing, uh, repeat all of the, these steps that we did, all these nodes. You could do it again over um, on the other side for the other light fixture if you would like. Um, and then you can just merge them in like that. Uh, you would just essentially create another merge node and merge that in as well. If we then go back into our timeline, we can right-click on our comp click render comp and that would fully render out the, the node stuff that we had just worked on. So with that, that's like I said, that's pretty much it. Um, you could replicate this in a lot of different scenarios where you have a flat plane or a, a four corner pinned uh, object that you want to place in there um, with motion as well. So there are definitely other ways to do this, but I found this one to be the easiest and I, I really hope that it's helpful to you as you're learning Nuke Studio and Video Compositing.